Right then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Meat Boy. Why am I playing this, I hear you ask? Because I'm sick of playing the same shit every day. Let's switch it up. Now, I've already played this game a little bit, so I know what I'm doing. So I'm not going to be an absolute bloody useless mess. But as quite clearly seen by what I just went face first into, eventually there's going to be a difficulty spike. Remember when I said I learned how to play the game? I forgot that right trigger makes you fly through the air. I'm a damn idiot. Come on! I was bloody convinced I had that shit. I was about to say nice to meet you to Mrs. Bandage Girl, who's all gonna be happily ever after, and I would've been able to progress and move. Move on. Hm? There you go. And I stopped right in front of us, so I didn't even get the goddamn best time. Oh, this is super califragilistic XP Alley. Donuts! I think it's time for me to meet my maker. And no, I don't mean the company that I work for. Will you stop trying to have fucking French kiss the saw blades and instead get over them like a previous relationship? Stop trying to make out with it like the goddamn current one. Oh, it's this gimmick, isn't it, where I've just got to jump across? Not quite. Considering how terrible I'm doing already, I think it's safe to say that I'm not the biggest fan of this bloody level. No, 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 I'm already yet. What the? I was exactly where I needed to be, and you blew it for me. Oh, that's right. There are going to be more puns here than there are failures and deaths. Yes, that's an accomplishment. I really wish I hadn't started this off by saying, Yeah, I practiced so I know what I'm doing, because there's no way you know what you're doing when you haven't played half the fucking levels. I should probably just try and Super Saiyan Meat Boy my bloody way through it and speed on through. Go for it. That's how you do it. Oh, wow. The one thing I wanted to avoid doing because I thought it wouldn't bloody work was the one solution that I never attempted until the last bloody second. I hate myself. Bloody almost fell off again. What the- Alright then. I was officially in life limbo there. I was so close to that blade, you think I was shaking hands with Wesley Snipes? Oh, with all my failures, you being meat, I truly am the butcher, because I'm going to have to chop this footage up a whole fucking lot just to get around this failure. Oh, will you stop floating by it? You're a cube of meat, not a bloody flower petal! You see, this is why you don't try and imitate another person by being Jacksepticeye, because I don't really think speed is key, because the more I try to fucking insert the key into the lock, the more I fuck up. Oh, how the hell were you not over it? Seriously, all you had to do was tuck your fucking feet in, you would have been fine. Did you bathe in baby oil before this? Because there are soaking wet bars of soap wrapped in lubed up condoms less slippery than this. Hey, there we go. Now we're getting it. Now we've got it. Now we're done. How long was I on that level? How long? Is it gonna tell me? No, it isn't. It isn't at all. I'm gonna say about five minutes. Oh, fantastic. I was well aware I didn't have a bright future playing this game. Now you're just fucking rubbing it in my face. Huh? Okay. I uh, nailed that. And we're still go- Oh, there was a spike, so I wasn't aware. As you know, everything's pitch cocking Riddick Black. It's okay, though. What? No! <laughs> right the fucking end. The only thing that needs a goddamn bandage girl after that is my emotions, because I'm certainly wounded after that. Oh my god, now you're just falling into the... That is the second time you just fell into the first obstacle available for you to die in. Seriously, why don't you just get a fucking gun and shoot yourself as soon as the goddamn clock starts ticking? Oh, super meat boy, this is just a super neat ploy to get me fucking mad, and I chose to play this as if it was a good idea. The fuck is wrong with me? I could have turned on Destiny and just played the goddamn arena. I could have played that? Would have been hell of a better than this? Do you want to know why? Because I wouldn't have been failing so fucking much in it. And at least I would have someone else to blame. There we go. I almost went flying off of the side. Almost. What is this? Absolute diddly dicking dog shit. Oh, there's no quick way around this, is there? I just, I've just got to wait for this big, stupid, hunk of shit to slide on by. You know my problem is when I'm playing this game? Pretty much never let go of the right trigger. Ever. Ever in a million years. <gasps> oh my. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's there you go. My god, you have got me to jump through so many motherfucking hoops you'd think I was playing Super Meat 64. There you go, you've introduced me to the keys. Fantastic. As I succeeded, I'll be going forward unto dawn. And now we play the waiting game. Suck my knob. Oh my giddy and fanny, it's this. Lovely looking, you weren't there before. So I've gone from being stalked by this goddamn thing in Binding of Isaac to being hunted down by it in this. Loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it like that. Oh, you motherfuck. Yeah, there you go. 
you, you happy-go-lucky fly-by-night drive-by bullshit. I'm gonna get bloody drowned where- no, 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 no! <sighs> Killed by my own stupidity. That's it, run past. There's a good boy. Everyone loves it when you cooperate with me, my man. Everyone and their mother and brother. I need to be on that side. Crack a lack of ding dong. It could have been the other side. Could have been the other side, but it wasn't. If you slip and slide any goddamn more, I'm going to be convinced you've got a fucking water park underneath each of your feet. No, don't dick me around. Seriously. No. No. As if it isn't bad enough, I'm against the clock. With the fucking rising tides, I have to deal with you! With your oh so very cheerful and happy face bearing down on me as you bash your teeth into my face. Almost fell. That would no! You couldn't have been more useless if you chopped off your dick and tits. No! I'm gonna lose my mind in a minute. So many times I've screwed that up, and it's really, really, really pissing me off. At this point, I'm beginning to meet the end of my goddamn fucking patience. Oh, I survived. I thought I died. Oh, great. I timed the jump perfectly, didn't realise, and ended up killing myself. I... <laughs> oh, I hate this game. Why, oh, my, you slip and slidey piece of shit. What piece of meat slides around this goddamn much? The hell is this a... Ch the hell? Is this the chunk of a goddamn greased up deaf guy? Just get over there. Jump. Jump again. Thank you. Suck me off. Suck my knob. Suck my dick and fucking tell me I'm good at taste. <gasps> <laughs> Just keep trying, and eventually you'll stop dying, and you'll be succeeding. And then, fuck. Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it. Suck my knob and get the light, you little vampiric piece of meat. There you go. Explode and die. Fuck you. Oh, my lord. I'm going to look forward to seeing this piece of shit die. He's not dead. Hello. What? So you telling me that I didn't even get revenge on this damn thing? He's trying to kiss me. Yep, now I remember this thing. Yep, fantastic. You serious? <laughs> there you go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, are you... Does it just not die? What are you gonna do? Oh! <laughs> Thank you for finishing what I couldn't. You could say that last boss fight really raised the stakes for me. When you look at how long it took me to beat that bitch, safe to say I've got some beef with him. And for the Pierre de la Distance. One joke that has nothing to do with anything that you've seen. What would you call Mr. Super Meat Boy here if he were to be knighted and named a lord? And finally get jiggy with it with his dear little bandage girl. Sirloins. You get it? Bone and loins, it's sexual. And sirloins a piece of meat. <sighs> I only played this for like 20 to 30 minutes, and it pissed me off. <laughs> Not too much. No way near as much as other things, but it didn't take much for me to get pretty goddamn pissed off at this. So this is one of the times where I'm actually going to pose the question that hasn't been asked in a while. Stay or slay? Because I'm not sure if you want to see more of this. I'm quite fine leaving it a one-off, or just coming back to it every now and then, but if you want to see more of it on a regular basis, then let me know. Because as I said at the beginning, I figured I'd play this because I was sick of playing the same thing every goddamn day. I mean, I'm okay with playing one thing that I played the previous day again, but not both. Like Witcher and Isaac, every goddamn day is just not for me. I, I can't do it. I like both games, but playing them every day? Ugh! And I'd imagine you feel somewhat the same way. But anyway, quite clearly, that is where I'll be ending this episode. Please do remember that you continue to interest, enthusiasm, and support for a series such as this is what keeps it alive and well. So remember to broadcast it to me by liking the video and in any other way you seem fit. Deem fit. English. I am going to have to recommend you to Metal Gaming, one of the best channels on YouTube at the moment that is just underappreciated as all balls. He recently did a Metal Gear Solid, whatever the fuck it's called, the demo, glorified, video, and it was absolutely fantastic. So much to the point where I'm going to have to rip him off once I got them again and make one of my own, because I believe it's free on PS Plus next month. So, uh, I don't even have to pay for that goddamn thing and I get to make money off of it. There's a fucking sound business decision. But yeah, he made a video on it, go watch it if you like what he did, and you can look forward to what I'm going to do with it. And seeing as I'm unable to cover mods on GTA 5 because my PC version doesn't work for a dick and I've tried fixing it for a week and it just doesn't goddamn work, I'll get to it eventually, then you should go and watch Speedy Lacour. I only watched a few of his videos and I ended up goddamn loving it just because of the editing and the style and the humour. It's not exactly similar to mine in many senses, but I do think it's transferable from this audience to his, so I recommend you give him a chance at the very least. Because I said, I can't do GTA 5 PC. It won't fucking work yet. 
I'm not sure if you're a fan of more frequent, more thorough playthroughs, then I'd recommend you, Hot Bros, one of the most likable, interesting, and entertaining channels I've found of a ridiculously smaller size. So, at the very goddamn least, please do give them a chance. I guarantee you won't end up regretting it. And one final thing, I humbly request you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and my other channel, because there's something on all those for all of you. But the aside, I'd like to think that you did indeed enjoy this and do indeed want to see more of it. And assume that you do, please like a video, let me know, and assume that you did, then I think it's safe to say. <laughs> That gets, that gets more fun every time I do it. That considering the shape of my little old friend there, and the source of all my frustration this afternoon, then I guess this game truly is the square root. <laughs> you get it? Some, you get it? Some math joke. He's square, and it's the, the root of my frustrations was this game. I play word jokes. Do you like them? No. Why are you here? Why am I still doing this? The fuck is my life?